Hello, I'm Debbie Mercer, Dean of the College of Education at K-State. It seems that everyone in Bluemont Hall and the Foundation Building is very busy and productive. As we think about the year before us, I think it's important to celebrate and recognize some significant accomplishments and milestones that have taken place recently. Kansas State University is 150 years old. Educational Consideration celebrated its 40th year of publication. SEMA celebrated 15 years of teaching, research, and service focused on cultural and linguistic advocacy, and SEMA graduated its 100th Basito student. The faculty mentoring program completed its 15th year of support to junior faculty, with 94% of eligible participants earning tenure. During this past year, the Friday focus on funding and the community of practice for qualitative inquiry began. Operation Educate the Educator has impacted our undergraduate curriculum and has brought national media attention to our college. We hosted a powerful exhibit entitled Righteous Among the Nations at both our Manhattan and Olathe campuses and look forward to a follow-up exhibit this year. The Midwest Center had a most successful accreditation visit this summer and our circle of influence continues to widen through programming at Fort Leavenworth, Olathe, and online, and through services such as OEIE, Nakata, CPSI, and Kelly. The college sponsored our inaugural Grandparents University with a great group of grandparents and grandchildren. Instead of a damper, the six inches of rain received during one day turned out to be a highlight for the kids. Not so much for the grandparents. There is much to celebrate for many faculty members. Dr. Vance is now a full professor, and Dr. Larson was promoted to associate professor. Dr. Kim completed a sabbatical in Korea where she served as a keynote speaker and made great progress on a research methodology textbook. Dr. Herrera published her ninth textbook, and new editions of books were authored by Dr. Burden, Dr. Thompson, Dr. Thurston, and Dr. Knackendoffel. And I'm pleased to report five faculty received funding to complete digital textbook resources for our students. Three proposals were funded for supporting distance education experiences. And another two proposals were funded for engagement activities. The Center for Student and Professional Services looks different, and not just because of new paint. Three new advisors have joined the Center in the past year. The Center is flourishing under Dr. Griffin's leadership, and more changes related to technology are forthcoming. Internationalization continues to be a productive area of growth. Nakata hosted its first international conference in the Netherlands. Students traveled to Ecuador, Tanzania, and China this summer on study abroad experiences. We had faculty visiting at least 14 countries for a variety of purposes, and I'm sure there are others of which I am unaware. I firmly believe we grow not only professionally, but personally with each exposure to a new culture. Bringing back our experiences enhances our interactions with students and strengthens their learning as well. As we look to the year ahead, we have much to anticipate. The inaugural Distinguished Education Research Lecture Series with Dr. Gloria Ladson-Billings will occur in September. We will view the second documentary in our A Walk in My Shoes series focused on military perspectives. We the People, a national IMAX film, will premiere at the Smithsonian in Washington, D.C. with supplementary teaching materials developed by Tom Vance and our Social Studies Education Center that will be available online for teachers across the nation. We are moving into Room 119, our latest remodeled and state-of-the-art technology classroom. Additionally, we will sponsor a series of mentoring activities for instructors, graduate assistants, and non-tenure track assistant professors led by Mike Holan, and a publishing working group led by Jeff Zacharakis. College-level activities are planned that focus on the year of the brain and will be led by our own Jane Fishbag. Another major change is that the Copy Center is moving to the Catalyst, resulting not only in financial efficiency, but also in increased convenience for faculty. We will continue our emphasis on technology as we enhance our infrastructure, develop our skills to promote teaching and learning in our classrooms and in the classrooms in which our students teach. And finally, through bricks and blocks, we'll develop another new outside space, the Bluemont Circle, dedicated to faculty and friends of the College of Education. We have much to celebrate and much to look forward to as we move into the 2013-14 school year. 
Thank you for your role in making exciting and impactful things happen and your support of the College of Education at Kansas State University.